हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू दूट्यूब चैनल राहुल एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज प्रैक्टिस ऑन स्केच सो फॉर दैट वे हैव अ ड्राइंग हियर दिस ड्राइंग वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ बाय यूजिंग यूजिंग पैरामेट्रिक सॉफ्टवेयर ओके सो दिस इज द सेकेंड वीडियो फॉर प्रैक्टिस पर्पज लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड those who have crew parametric just open your software and those who don't have the crew parametric software please video is available in my youtube channel uh, how to download in free and how to install okay then uh, <coughs> just open your crew parametric take the file click on a file take the new file and then इन टाइप एज अ पार्ट सब टाइप एज अ सॉलिड अनटेक डिस्टिक मार्क हि इन दिस यू कैन टाइप युअर ओन फाइल नेम अनटेक डिस्टिक मार्क एंड क्लिक ऑन ओके नेक्स्ट विंडो विल कम हियर एंड इन दैट वे हाउ टू सिलेक्ट दिस मिलीमीटर पार्ट सॉलिड ऑल द ऑपरेशन वे आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म इन मिलीमीटर्स क्लिक ऑन ओके सिस्टम इज जनरेटिंग द इंटरफेस टील दो आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल काइंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सिस्टम इज जस्ट जनरेटिंग the interface for working this is the basic process okay yeah and uh, you can get all the video single single video for single commands on my youtube channel for crew parametric okay yeah here just click on front plane click on sketch then click on this sketch view this is the basic process okay now we have this drawing just take the screenshot of this drawing okay just take a screenshot first of all we have to read the drawing before drawing before draw any drawing we have to read all the drawings whatever information is given in that and how we can draw in easy way in short time okay like a uh, distance is given between these two two circles 76 mm and uh, here this uh, circle is with uh, 20 radius and this circle this the diameter of this circle is to, uh, 26 uh, mm and radius of this outer circle is 22 and this circle cur curve shape circle is uh, we can say fillet uh, radius is 18 mm of this circle is uh, diameter 56 all dimensions are given over here okay we have to just draw okay uh, so let's get started yeah first of all i will draw uh, this center line this horizontal center line this vertical center line okay here the center line command is here take the center line draw this vertical center line next take this center line for horizontal yeah like this hmm. okay now i have draw two center lines now next Uh, what i will do is that uh, this circle i will draw this circle how uh, diameter is 26 mm diameter okay 26 mm diameter and uh, the center distance between this to between this two circle is 76 mm okay so let's draw the first uh, circle 26 diameter take the circle draw here yeah 26 diameter like this how many distance is this before that uh, just to go to some i will change some seating just click on this and uh, i will instead of dimension i will hide all all the things untick all the things and just click on dimensions okay for now i just want the dimensions that's why take again circle command draw the circle over here yeah like this drag the dimension and put uh, how much 26 mm diameter okay like this drag the dimension and adjust the dimensions now the by default dimensions are uh, generated here 61 mm and this 50 mm i will directly click on dimensions and the first point and the second point then go to middle and press middle mouse button Now dimensions are created between these two points, and how we do? How many it was? This was say this is seventy six mm. Okay, put seventy six mm. Press enter. 
now you can observe very well here on the 76 distance is created between both the circle but what difference is they are not concentric with each other with this center line okay okay but i wanted to concentrate because it will be easy it will be easy to draw next operation on this drawing so for that what i will do here the one another command is symmetric click on symmetry click on this first point the second point and the center line like this now the 76 divided into equal to two equal distances okay again go to the drawing uh, i have drawn these two circle now next i will draw this outer circle which reduces 22 then the diameter will be uh, 44 44 okay for this radius diameter will be 44 i will draw uh, with diameter two circles the first circle and the second circle here okay and how much uh, now these are by default uh, this circle is getting constant of similar to this uh, circle that's why diameter is not created here okay just press ctrl z i will show you how we just back the operation and take again circle click on this center point if i am increasing diameter here you can see at this stage at that time there uh, beside of circle is getting highlighted by green color like this if i again go to increase now it's not highlighting okay because diameter increasing uh, greater than this circle okay if I, I i click on this i click when it's highlighting green then it will automatically take the constraint means same dimensions of this circle okay which is highlighting green but I don't want it to that so I will increase little bit and click for drawing purpose now this is 61 mm different diameter and this is the 56 mm so double click on this and uh, how much it was 44 put a 44 and enter ok and for this this circle I will change to 44 enter ok go to sketch these two circle i have drawn now what next the next is that uh, this radius 20 ok now i will try to draw this circular portion how i will take uh, mostly we can draw the circle between these two circle uh, by using uh, mostly the fillet command just click on fillet select this select this yeah here you can see okay like this fleet is created but uh, dimensions for this is just move away press uh, middle mouse button and then drag the dimension like this radius is 30 and then how here dimension 20 so just double click put 20 okay yeah like that now i have drawn this much portion now i will go onwards to uh, i will i have already drawn this vertical center line now i will draw this horizontal line this is 50 mm from this line okay so i will draw this line 50 mm so go to the sketch uh, in that click this take the center line for that you can another one option is there before taking center line uh, press the escape button okay and click on construction mode okay construction mode is like uh, you can create imaginary lines for rough work purpose okay now in this my drawing this is only a center line okay or you can say imaginary line for drawing purpose or center line of this so we can take this construction construction line also okay just click on this and take the center line take this first point and this will be the second point okay now the dimensions are created generated by system here drag the dimension aside and how many distance is 50 and double click and put 5 over there ok now I have done this now we will draw this circle 56 diameter here click take the circle take the center point actually I am currently in the construction mode so this uh, circle is also taking the reference and the construction mode ok but I wanted to live work not a uh, rough work so just press escape and uh, now 
click on this construction mode this construction mode is deactivated and take this circle again take the center point draw the circle okay like this now how many diameter this is 56 double click on this and 50 diameter is easier now what next I have drawn the portion up to this now next circle this is radius 20, uh, 62 okay this 62 to the center point okay so I will draw this circle this circle circular portion or getting the circular portion the circle is there uh, radius 62 then diameter will be uh, 124 okay so take the circle command this is the center point take the this draw the circle move away press middle mouse, press middle mouse button and drag the dimension like this how much it was uh, 62 and 124 diameter 124 okay like this now again go to the drawing input drawing so mm, we have drawn this uh, circle means for getting this portion we have drawn that circle now what next we will do that uh, we will draw this circle at how much distance it is from this line this is 110 from this line so required one again horizontal line so I will draw one more horizontal line click on construction mode take the center line take the first point and this as the second point ok now distance is created by default here from this point I want yeah exactly this is 8 here by default I will make it modify it 110 yeah like this and then the how I will draw this circle how much diameter it is it is 32 diameter so, so just take the circle command take the center point now we are again the construction mode just off this construction mode and take again circle command and then draw now this is the real circle mm. okay how much diameter 32 diameter double click make it 32 yeah right like this our second one radius uh, circle is there which is ready which office radius is uh, 24 okay uh, radius is 24 the diameter will be uh, uh, double of this radius okay so we will draw over there here okay so take the circle command again take the center point and draw in a circle like this move away press middle mouse button by default 66 is uh, generated by here okay now 48 okay here 24 radius is given so for that radius uh, diameter will be 48 put 48 over here press enter and then I will uh, now I have drawn this circle inner circle outer circle and just um, another one circle is there of which 32 radius is there okay 64 diameter click on take the circle take the center point draw the circle and make it uh, how much it was 32 radius okay means uh, 64 mm diameter okay now we have done all this now I will now take the tangent command and uh, connect this circle and this circle ok like this I will show you here the inline command line tangent option is there select this the first point this is the second point ok uh, again no it is not high ok ok yes this is the first point and this will be the second point ok for tangents tangent line I have drawn this tangent line also now I have drawn almost all the things now just only one work is pending and that is the trim okay your trim option is there click on trim now how many portion I will trim here I will show just no one uh, one is pending actually here you can see this 45 this 45 radius is uh, pending okay this outer circle to outer circle okay in this so just press escape button and this radius is 45 degree ok so diameter will be 90 so for that just click on this fillet command and then click on this first and next click on this ok 
then here you can observe just move away and press middle mouse button then you will be able to move this dimension like this okay this is 23.61 radius by default but uh, here given is the 46 45 double click make it 45 press enter the next i will directly mirror this portion select this click on mirror and select the center line here like this okay yeah now this is created but uh, one issue is there here uh, red uh, red dots are created okay i will tell you later so now i have drawn almost all the portion just take this trim command i will trim one by one portion as required this portion i have to trim this will be the shown okay so for that i will trim this portion uh, is this is this uh, okay okay this to this okay this is tangent to this inner circle and i have made this tangent to outer circle one mistake i have i had did over here press ctrl z only and then actually press again ctrl z again ctrl z again ctrl z up to this okay yeah i will i did a wrong operation i uh, draw the tangent line for this circle this and this okay but the actual tangent is from this circle to inner circle okay for that so go to the line click on line tangent select this circle and this circle okay now the created it's in wrong way actually you don't want that one press ctrl z so for getting that one what i will try now uh, first of all i think yeah now the first of all i will clear this outer circle okay what the purpose of the outer circle is that just for this this much portion okay so first of all i will trim this circle click on trim command i will trim this all the portion this one also and this one okay uh, then we will get clarity and uh, will not create any trouble during drawing okay now what next uh, here this tangent is here so now the tangent will created comfortably click on this uh, fillet take select this and select this okay like this double click on this or uh, before that how much it is uh, this is 45 radius move away press middle mouse button then drag this dimension like this and double click on this how it was 45 radius so please oh, enter 45 radius here and select uh, before select uh, instead of selecting just uh, take another fillet select this and this curve yeah here it's created generated by default 23 move away, move away and press middle mouse button click on the dimension and drag like this double click on this and make 45 mm okay like this now which position required to trim go to the sketch i just want this uh, middle circle and then this position okay so for that i want this and this position so for the just take the trim command i will trim this all the middle position okay uh, like this okay what is pending now yeah drawn as required okay now here bottom side some portions are pending to be trim okay just observe the drawing we require only this middle circle this circle this circle and rather instead of that only boundary is there okay this boundary so how yeah this like this shape should be pending should be exist over there okay so for that take the trim command and i will uh, this shape like this and uh, i think something is uh, pending to draw i think okay which portion is pending oh yeah, yeah this portion is pending this is connected to outer circle okay this 
62 I mean this 62 is connected to outer surface but by 18 radius okay by 18 fillet we can say so uh, just uh, click escape I will not take this trim command right now uh, one portion is uh, pending over there just take the fillet command and select this and this okay here this six, uh, move away press middle mouse button and drag a dimension like this 6.70 is created by default and I want to make radius 18 mm 18 mm and enter okay now yeah what I will do is that uh, in this side also we have to do the same per perform the same operation take the fillet select this first and second fillet is created over here move away press middle mouse button and drag the dimension like this and edit 15 ok actually it was 18 mm yeah like this now all the drawing is created right now Just again take the trim command and I will trim this portion yeah this all the portions ok this portion also this portion also and this portion also ok now the drawing is taking exactly path and getting clarity ok now outer line is going from here and this portion is not included in drawing so trim this in by going taking this path yeah this portion is not in drawing this also not in and in between circle this portion is not there trim this this also not there trim this trim this this also like this trim all the surfaces which are which are not in this ok like that I have uh, in this way I have created all the sketch yeah here you can see very well now for confirming this sketch is closed or not just click on ok ok here you can see this is a green color but again just go to this uh, model tree and right click on the or sketch and click on this edit definition uh, still here four points are highlighted by red dots so this uh, this is not completely closed structure because uh, if you zoom here this point is not getting exactly touched to this this line okay yeah for that we have to zoom during the operations whenever just click on the sketch view whenever I am going to connect this point to this point okay that time I will show you just for one take the trim command trim the trim this line again I will draw it for you like take uh, go to the line take this uh, tangent line this should be green okay okay or highlighting or instead of that just click this point it's not taken because it's connected here okay I selected this first as a first point and second I will select this yeah green point green highlighted then just click on that okay right now two red uh, um, points are created I mean it disconnected for this two point press ctrl z for connecting uh, I will take again this uh, tangent line okay select this line and instead of selecting this curve I will directly zoom this portion and select this point it's not selecting because this is the tangent line this required only tangents ok so for that again go to the line take the line command select this curve path and this curve path line is created over here but but right now just zoom this portion why this is showing we can get yeah this is connected but this portion we have to trim ok this is connected now right now just click on this trim Still, it's not getting connected. But yeah, it's okay. Still, our extrude will be generated for that. Okay. Or instead of that, we can uh, take just delete. Click on this, delete this line, and take the simple line, line, first point, and the, this tangent point, like this. Okay. Now, no red point is here. Okay, this red point is 
it now right now here one is pending for that again click on this line delete this line take again this line command tangent line or it's a normal line here three lines are shown actually here I will directly take this for line from this line to this tangent point okay yeah take the trim command here actually two line are over there now yeah like this like that you have to make the correction exactly match the all the points for that just click on ok and then click on extrude yeah like this now extrude is not uh, uh, generating for this case because this cre this cage is somewhere uh, not closed close this yeah this is the effect of this if you made the sketch but it's not completely closed then this problem we have to face click on sketch we have to remove this red dotted points okay means close this uh, we have to close that structure properly here the sketch is not closed for that click on this line delete this i will draw by just click on the fillet select this one and this one again line is created over here i will see any line is over there yeah this at this something is showing here take trim command yeah now i have trim this portion press middle mouse button yeah this red point is i have deleted take the trim command yeah at this point some small point was uh, was existing there that's why the red dot is showing or showing same way we have to clear all this for all this okay just zoom like this this problem is is mostly faced those who are new learners okay now for that just click on the sketch today we'll try definitely try to remove this red uh, dots click on this line delete this line click on this line delete this line also okay these two points are only i have to join over here but without a problem okay take this trim line trim command trim this portion also now i will take this line okay i will check this point then i will zoom this try to zoom and then connect like this okay zoom out and move away and yeah uh, this point is getting correct uh, connected properly but this point is not getting connected properly for that what we have to do is that we can do yeah one option is there for that just take trim command trim this line yeah right now actually that tangent line no no they totally get trimmed take again this tangent line command trim this portion sorry not this command this trim this portion again actually i am facing it for for drawing this last portion is pending only click on this line take line tangent okay uh, first of all activate this all this and then take the tangent line okay select this first curve and uh, this second curve line is created but uh, it's not getting exactly connected don't know why mm, like this way some changes are done Just trim all this, these two lines. I will not uh, consider in drawing uh, right now. Okay. Click on OK and then click on Extrude. Okay. Yeah, here is our object. So, thank you very much, friend, for watching this video. Okay. At least some 
some commands we definitely learn we learn in this video if you uh, just press the uh, subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the updates and notification yeah your subscription motivates me for making some more videos